I'll have a blue Christmas. It's a blue Christmas for many Americans. With unemployment at a record high 10% and more than 15 million people out of work, some people's biggest Christmas wish may just be to find a job. But how does the bleak unemployment outlook affect those who dedicate themselves to personifying the Christmas spirit every year? St. Nicholas, Father Christmas, the jolly old elf. Dwight Fry has been playing Santa in Pennsylvania for 20 years and has even attended Santa school. His home improvement business has had its best year ever, but his career playing the head elf has taken a hit. I've lost a couple PTO parties in this in our area because the local school district teachers did not have a contract. They didn't have the parties, and so that affected me. I've noticed that some of the larger corporations and businesses in our areas aren't having the big parties, and I'm doing more restaurant and small businesses that are trying to draw customers in uh, for whatever, because I, there again, because of the downturn of the economy, um, I'm assuming. In response to this decrease in business, Santa Dwight has tried to market himself more effectively. I've got posters, more posters out this year. I, I've started a web page. The web page has helped, definitely. Uh, you know, it's, there again, it's a big expense, $750 to get my web page started and ten dollars a month but i'm hoping that over the course of the next couple of years it'll be worthwhile while the small business santa struggles ernest johnson who has played chris kringle for two decades claims he's doing just fine he works for the nor programs corporation a company that specializes in building and staffing christmas sets in malls across america our company has grown nor corporations uh, programs is, is grown astronomically, and I cannot believe the, the what the owners have put together and uh, and done within the last four or five years. I started with them; and they had something like 57 Santas, and now they have hundreds of Santas. In the time Johnson has worked for Noor, the company signed with a large regional mall chain, quadrupling its reach to 165 malls across 37 states. It employs 2,000 cast members every holiday season. But owner Judy Knorr says that this year, she's seen a record number of applicants. One of her first-time regional managers, Tracy Schaefer, explains the draw to the unemployed. Pay would be a little bit higher than what they'd be collecting on unemployment. So it helps out for the holiday season. And then to know that they can go back to their unemployment after the holiday season. Tracy knows about this struggle firsthand. After working for several years as an account manager for a company in the Northeast, she lost her job this past fall. I got laid off um, the first week of September of this year, um, and I happened to be lucky, and like I said, I, I hit the pavement hard with my resume, um, and I started applying to multiple jobs, um, and I did see this one come up, and it was only a seasonal position. But I said, you know, I have two young kids. I said, this could be fun. I said, it's Santa Claus, you know. But just as a child's heart sinks, knowing that Christmas is over once all the presents are unwrapped, Tracy Schaefer feels a similar anxiety for the post-holiday season. She'll be out there fighting for a job again before the echo of Christmas bells has faded. I'm not optimistic. Even though I'm still sending my resumes out knowing that this is a seasonal position, I haven't gotten many callbacks. As adults look to the want ads and the government for help, the young turn to the person they truly believe can lend a hand, Santa. Yeah, I get asked a lot of times if, if I can help mom and daddy find a new job or get the job they lost or... And, you know, there again, I can't give them an answer. I'll say, you know, I can send them a list of jobs available or... You know, but I don't know what their professions are or, you know, what's available. The job market's tough. I mean, the unemployment rate in the country is, is around 10%. I had a, a, a girl come in that is in her 20s, and she came in and she says, I need a home for tonight, or I don't have no place to, to live, I don't have no food. So I, uh, I says, just one moment. So security came over and I said, security, could you take this young lady and 
see if we can't find a home for her tonight and she needs a home to live and she needs some food. And he did that. She turned around, kissed me, and I'll never forget it. And there's been a lot of things that's happened to us, you know, in the last uh, year. So you just have to have faith because so many people have lost their jobs and so forth. And, and it seems like that, and you don't hear that. You don't hear the children saying, well, my mommy and daddy don't have any money. They can't. I, I never hear that. Perched on his Christmas throne, what Santa Ernie does notice is that families are pulling together despite hard times.